welcome to Algorithms. Today we are going to discuss about artificial intelligence shopping approach. Whether it is going to be starting a new project or buying a new AI product. So some of the questions that come to your mind as a customer, how do I sift through all the emerging technologies? How do I understand my options? What AI technologies should I bet on? These are very common questions that are asked within the organization, but they are leading to different results. Uh, the right question to ask is how do I apply AI technology to solve my business problems? Uh, keeping three things in my mind, it has to be quick, it has to be economical, and it has to be permanent. Permanent in a manner that is responsive to the future change, it means the technology has to be flexible. Now, uh, now the thing is, uh, uh, what is the first question that you need to ask that leads to another question? It means you need a staircase of questions, uh, then it itself take you to the route where you want to go or the key performance indicators that you want to achieve try the following questions uh, they are designed to uh, help organize your AI shopping approach protect you from hype and at the same time leverage the best technology has to offer today uh, so question number one what is the business opportunity or problem that I'm trying to address uh, get to the bottom of it uh, because so many times what happens is that you have a problem but it is very subjective, it is not objective in nature. So are you going to address growth? Are you going to address cost? Are you going to address compliance? Are you going to address customer satisfaction? What is that you are trying to address? Means there will be other elements as well but you need to have a focus on the heart of the problem. Number two, what is the business process transformation that will solve uh, my business problem? Uh, am I going to uh, modernize the legacy systems or automation of knowledge work? Uh, what exactly are we trying to do here? Uh, question number three, is there any emerging AI technology out there today that has solved similar problems? Is it proven? Uh, is it deployed? Who are the customers? Uh, what they are saying about the product, about the process, about the implementation cycle. Question number four, can my problems be solved within 90 days so I can realize outcomes quickly? That's very important aspect because a lot of projects, they want to see if there is a business problem, if that can be solved or part of it can be solved within 90 days. They can map it with their organization strategy in order to make sure that this is the right path. Sometimes what happens, you implement a tool and halfway you recognize uh, this is not a good fit with the organization's vision and mission. Question number five, uh, in some organizations they need a complete auditability of a solution. So do you need a complete auditability, a traceable solution? Uh, because black hole, black boxes are not acceptable uh, in those businesses. Uh, they need full audit trail. So there are certain solutions where, uh, especially in the field of AI, where, where it has to be mentioned right in the beginning that I need to trace each and every step. Why? So there is a bonus point here. For instance, uh, if you have heard about uh, general data protection regulation, this is the law regulating how companies protect European Union citizens' personal data uh, and it has to be implemented by May 2018. Under the GDPR, individuals have the right to access. This means that individuals have the rights to request access to their personal data and to ask how their data is used by the company after it has been gathered. The company must provide a copy of personal data free of charge and in electronic format if requested. So imagine a situation that you are a Netflix subscriber and uh, 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 based upon your past uh, uh, choices, uh, Netflix is recommending you a set of programs and then you go back to the Netflix and ask, okay, I want to know how you came up with these recommendations. So from a company perspective, uh, that is a proprietary system means they have invested money in order to come up with the algorithm in order to come up with the recommendations that they are coming up with because they have invested in the infrastructure uh, hardware and software and people uh, before they reach the outcome which is reflected on your uh, TV or your desktop or your phone 
so uh, it's a kind of annoying, uh, annoying to the organization but this is the reality this is the fact so in some cases if it is not a traceable uh, uh, solution uh, you can get into trouble and the second is right to be forgotten if consumers are no longer customers or if they withdraw their uh, consent uh, from a company to use their personal data then they have uh, uh, right to have their data deleted so for instance if I am using uh, um, Amazon for a long time and if I tell them uh, that okay uh, I am no longer a uh, Amazon subscriber and please delete my data so they have to delete the data but they need to know where is the data where it is coming from uh, in what different forms it is used and so on so just imagine the scenario means apart from these uh, five questions or the framework that you have to keep in mind now this is a new dimension which is stretching uh, 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 in a different direction uh, which is completely focused on data means data protection so data governance has become a very important aspect of when you are thinking about AI projects or uh, analytics project so just keep that in mind is this was just a bonus section I'm going to talk more on the data governance in the AI and analytics part but uh, in in later sessions uh, thank you very much for watching the video if you like it please subscribe it and if you have any specific questions please write an email to me or uh, if you have any sales support questions please write an email to sales support thank you very much I really appreciate your time thank you very much bye bye